Okay guys, welcome back to another the Revit Tutor uh, tutorial and I wanted to expound on this part right here which was the add shape handles to a little bowl family and we're talking about adding the shape handles in the 3D as well as the 2D. The first way I showed was just in the plan view um, any section basically. So here we are, we're in the same family uh, there's other views here that it opened up that I had open in 3D. This is my project where I have these guys. As you can see, there are no shape handles in 3D, but you have them in the 2D, and that's because we use reference planes. This time, we're going to go ahead and use reference lines. So currently, I have them locked to this reference plane, this reference plane, and this reference plane. So I'm just going to grab these handles, the shape handles. It's going to warn me to not remove my constraints but I do want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one more time. I'm gonna break that constraint, select off of it, select again, just so I can see what's going on, okay? So break this constraint and pull it like that. There we are. All right, I'm just gonna leave these guys in place. I'm gonna go ahead and delete uh, these two dimensions because I'm gonna use them again. And uh, let me get rid of that one too, so keep it less confusing, okay? Now, um, don't pay attention to that one. We don't worry about that one. Let's go ahead and create, and let's go to reference line, not plane, but line, all right? And we'll just uh, go ahead and lay those. Now, see how I'm trying to draw it in? The reason why it's not coming in is because of my visibility graphics. I have it off. Let me turn that one on, turn my planes off. There we are. Create, get my reference lines, and just draw them in, and there we go. And you know what, I actually do want my reference planes on because I wanna see that middle one. I'm gonna use that in my equal uh, dimension. And I'm also going to use the other one that's across uh, this one here, okay? So we can utilize and leverage some of them, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and create annotate here first, aligned. And we're going to say that uh, from this reference line to this reference plane, to this reference line. We're gonna make those equals, all right? And then we're gonna use the overall on those. And then, uh, oh, uh, yeah, this guy right here. Right here, I'm gonna tab until I get to the reference plane, right, right there, there we go. And I'll assign a parameter that I've already made ahead of time, okay? So this guy is going to be the depth, and as you can see, it pulls it down. And this guy is going to be our overall length parameter. Here we are, and that's all adjusted. Okay, now we need to assign the geometry to those lines, okay? In this particular case, I'm gonna align this one first. It so happens that my reference planes are in the same place, so let me just kinda get those out of the way a bit. Uh, let me see if I can tab to get a hold of these other reference lines that are below here. Tab, these reference planes are kinda in my way. And they appear to still be locked to it for some odd reason those out of the way. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and use the align and we're gonna align to this reference line, lock it to this right reference line, lock it to this reference line and lock it. All right, so we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and load this back into project. Yes, I wanna save it and I want to replace the existing and overwrite the parameters. Now that when I select it, notice I now have my grips so I can do my reshaping in 3D and reshaping in 2D with my shape handles. All right, I hope you guys like that. If you wanna see any more tutorials, just go ahead and tune in for me and uh, keep on listening and sharing me, okay? Thanks guys, have a good one.